Case hardening hardens the working surfaces of a piece of soft steel and at the same time introduces a little bit of color. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. Let's take a look at this interesting process. These parts have all been carefully polished to 320 grit. I'll blend all the polishing marks with a fine stainless steel wheel, lightly oiled for lubrication. The wheel is six inches in diameter with three thousandths of an inch bristles and turning slowly at 800 RPMs. Once the parts have been lightly polished with the wheel, I'll remove all traces of oil to prevent spotting in the case hardening colors. After the parts are completely clean, they must not be handled with the bare hands. I'm going to pack the parts in charcoal. This is a 50-50 mix of bone and wood and will give me the most vibrant colors. The charcoal is placed in a sifter and shaken to remove all of the fine dust. I put clay in each of the pin and screw holes. This prevents scale from developing in the holes. A steel block secured between the tangs of the receiver will help prevent them from warping. After filling the crucible about half full of charcoal, I put the receiver in tang first, making sure to leave at least an inch of charcoal below the tang. Now I'll continue to add charcoal and the remaining parts. The parts shouldn't touch each other or the sides of the crucible. I regularly tap the side to settle the charcoal, then add enough to fill it back up, making sure that all the parts are covered. The crucible is placed in the furnace and the thermostat is set on high. Once it reaches 1425 degrees, I'll lower the thermostat to 1250. When the temperature comes down to 1250, I leave it there for another hour. Then the crucible is pulled from the furnace and the parts are dumped into a barrel of water that has been aerating for about an hour. Wow! The barrel has a screen at the bottom to make removing the parts easy. Once all the parts are out, they're rinsed in clean water to remove any remaining charcoal and dried with a heat gun. After they're completely dry, they're given a coat of oil and set aside for 24 hours to cure. Beautiful.